everyone, my name is Megan with the blog wilsonhomestead.com and today I'm going to show you how to do the back carry with a ring sling and today I am using my little daughter Sophia as my model. She really loves the ring sling on my back. It is her favorite thing ever, which is surprising because she's actually pretty, pretty independent most of the time, but apparently she likes to be on my back and just hold really still. But I think it's pretty cute and I have really, really enjoyed it for getting stuff done. If she's feeling fussy, she's been teething, she's getting some molars right now. She's about 23 pounds, and even though she's getting pretty heavy, it doesn't really put much strain on my shoulder or my back, so I really enjoy it. I wouldn't put my six month old in a back carry yet. He's old enough to support his head, but I just don't really like it all that much because if he falls asleep, there's nothing really back there to support his head. If he's not awake to hold it up himself. If I'm carrying him on the front, I can use the tail to kind of support his neck, which is not very convenient to do when he's on the back. So I only wear my toddler on the back. I probably won't wear my son in it until he's a year old. It's just my preference. I think technically you can wear them on your back once they're six months old and they have head support, which he has, but it's just personal preference. It's just uh, for each person's own comfort level. So anyway, if you want to see more baby wearing videos from me, go check out my baby wearing playlist. I will link it down below in the description box. I have all sorts of videos about wraps, different holds you can do for different ages of babies, and slings, and more of the strap type carriers with the buckles and all that, and I'll have some woven wrap videos out soon too. And I absolutely love baby wearing, as you will be able to tell once you see my playlist. <laughs> it's just so convenient for getting things done, and we do somewhat of attachment parenting, so I just like to carry my babies around on me. The other day I actually had her in the sling on my back and him in the wrap on my front. And if you guys are interested, I will do a tutorial on how to do both of those so you can have a baby on the back and on the front. But let's just get right into this tutorial. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer her to my back. So I'm just going to scoot her over my hip, and then I'm going to reach my arm around the front, and then pull her over my back. And she's big enough that she can kind of hold on herself she's actually really good at staying up there so this is the other reason why I don't really like to do it with a six month old yet because they, they can't hold on but I get her nice nice and high on my back just like this now I want to have her high enough that if I tip my head back I can feel her head I don't want her so far down in the sling that if she falls asleep she might not be able to breathe very well so I really like this height for her on my back and if she scoots down I just kind of <laughs> lift her up like this and she thinks it's funny and then I have a Moby ring sling. I will link where you can buy one of these down in the description box below. I have several different ring slings and this one is my favorite for back carrying for toddlers. It's very sturdy. I don't as much like it for my younger baby on the front because it can be hard to pull through the rings. It's just a very thick kind of grabby fabric but for this instance it's my favorite. I'm gonna kind of loop the fabric up like this and then I'm just gonna swing it over both of us. Just like that. So now it's around both of us. And then I'm gonna find the bottom rail and I'm gonna make sure that I get it under her butt. So I have it spread over her back. And before I tuck it under her butt, I wanna make sure I have the rings in the position that I want them in. Because it's harder to adjust it once it's like tucked up under their butt. It doesn't move very well, which is what we want. So I wanna get this adjusted before we get to that point. So I like these a little bit shorter, more like more like right here instead of here. I'm gonna pull it from the back. I'm gonna pull the bottom rail, and the middle rail, and the top rail across her back so this is in the position that I want it in. So now, I'm going to make sure that the bottom rail is really well tucked up under her bottom. I wanna get a really deep seat, especially since she's in my back, and so I can't keep adjusting it constantly. And I also wanna make sure that her legs are in the M position when we're done. So I make sure the fabric is stretched from knee to knee. That is very important for getting a deep seat. So while it's still loose, I like to tuck it up under her bottom. I'll pull a little down from the top if I have to while I bounce and tuck it under like that. And now I'm going to pull the fabric across and put it through the rings. And you want to make sure you keep leaning over while you do all this. So I pull it through both rings and then I'm going to put it through the bottom ring. And now that I have it through both rings, I'm going to pull it out a little bit and make sure that all the folds are really even. So I like to just I find one edge, and I make sure that it's nice and flat, and then I just kind of fold across like this from one hand to the other, just making sure that all these are folded 
evenly and there's not big wads. And then I get to this end and I make sure that edge is flat and then I pull through like that. So now this is looking really good. So now I can start tightening it. So this, you can see this top rail is pretty loose. I'm going to tighten the bottom rail to make sure I get that really good deep seat. Just gonna check that it's under her butt before I tighten it. So I kind of lift her up and then tuck it under her butt, just like that. And then I kind of pull on this extra fabric while I loop, uh, while I tighten that bottom rail just like that. And now you want to keep in mind that you don't want all the weight on your knees. So I'm going to tighten the middle so that all of her weight is on her butt. And then I'll make it more comfortable for their knees. So I'm just going to keep tightening this until it's to the tightness that I like. Just keep adjusting as needed. So this is looking pretty good. She can still get her arm in and out. This is loose enough for that. This is a little further down than I like the rings to end up, but as long as I'm not going to do another baby on my front, it's not a huge deal. This is a little further down than I like the rings to end up, but as long as I'm not going to do another baby on my front, it's not a huge deal. Normally I would like the rings more like right here, right at corsage level. And then there's room for if I want to put Dimmy on my front in a wrap. But this is actually pretty comfortable just for carrying her around for a long time. I want to make sure that these are cupped over my shoulder. You want to aim for the rings to be at corsage level or at least close to there and not like way down here, way up on your shoulder because that's going to be pretty uncomfortable. And then I like to make sure that where all the fabric is flat, it's as flat as possible and not like folded. That's going to also make it a lot more comfortable. And then once you get them in there, you want to make sure you do some safety checks. So. I want to make sure that her knees are higher than her butt, so you can see that her knees are a lot higher than her butt, you want it to be in the M position. So if you go from their feet to their knees to their butt, it's kind of an M shape. And that is going to be a lot easier on their hips. You also want to make sure that if you, <laughs> if you'll have to look in a mirror or something, you want to make sure that their airway is not blocked by any fabric. Now that she's almost two years old, she's pretty good at making sure that her face isn't in something that it shouldn't be in. But especially when they're younger, you really do want to keep an eye on that. And then if this tail is annoying you, my this tail is pretty long on this Moby wrap, so it hangs down to my shin, and I am really tall. I'm 6'1", so on a shorter person, this will probably be a lot longer. But there's a few things you can do with it, especially if it's over my chest. After a while, it might start to hurt. So I like to bring all this through. like that and then there's not nearly as much of a tail so this is how I like to do it you can just wrap it as many times as around this as you need you can put it up over your shoulder you can kind of fold it along and then tuck it back here there's a lot of different things you can do with the tail and sometimes I just leave it alone because it's not really too bad but this is how you put a toddler on your back in a ring sling it's actually pretty easy normally I could do it way faster than it took me to show you it's just it takes me a while to explain things sometimes. But now that we are really good at it, I can get her up there in like a minute or less. It's actually just really quick once you get the hang of it. You just wanna keep in mind your safety checks. And if you do it wrong the first time, you can take them back out and start over. It's easier than trying to adjust it with them in there. So if I needed to move these rings some direction, it's just a lot easier to take her out. But as you can see, she's pretty content back there. <laughs> She really likes it and she will fall asleep after like 20 minutes if I just walk around and yeah. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. Don't forget to go check out my baby wearing playlist and keep tuned for any more baby wearing videos coming out. If you guys have a specific request, please let me know in the comments. I know several of you have asked for a tutorial on how to do the credit cross in a wrap and so that will be coming very soon. <laughs> Don't you worry. I just like to make sure that I do it enough that I'm really good at it and so I can explain it to you guys really well so that's what the delay is with that one. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!